Yeah, I'll be here. Appreciate it. Coach Farm was in here a little while ago saying how he wanted you to step up as a leader, work on conditioning. How, this spring, you know, Jordan Davis and Devontae Wyatt obviously not here anymore. How have you handled this challenge? Um, I work like different way, you know, I um, started running more after practice and all that because some guys motivated me to do more because they told me I could be top 10 pick and all that. So I have done a lot that I usually didn't do my freshman year. I've just been working harder. Yeah, you came in as a five-star prospect and had expectations the entire time. Being here, you know, how have you, I don't really know. Uh, the five stars is all cool and all, but I came here with a new start and new mindset saying I got to earn everything I do. And just playing with them guys, I feel like I have done what was needed. Can you repeat that? My back in here. Are you okay with being the new face of the Jordan defense? I wouldn't say I'm the face, but uh, I don't know. But I don't know how to answer that question. You know, we saw some, some highlights of scrimmage. It looked like you bucked up Kenny's head off. Do you have to remind yourself to lay off a little bit? Because you, you are one of the hardest hitters, and those guys have mentioned you before as a pretty serious player. Oh, yeah, I know. I see. I remember that play <clears throat> exactly. And um, I did slow down a little bit to not injure one of my teammates, but I give them what I can and try to be safe with everybody. So it could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned uh, Jordan and Devontae. What did you learn from those guys? What are some of the lessons you took from them? Uh, it's a lot. You know, um, the guys taught me a lot where. Uh, how everything goes when coming here, what I need to learn, what I need to do with uh, the technique, everything, how Coach Scott coaches. Because I really talked to JD while I was being recruited a lot. He talked to me a lot and told me everything I was going to need to know. And he really had a big role in what I came here to do. It gives me motivation. It, uh, not um, knowing that, like, them guys not looking at me as, um, oh, he's going to be better than me. They're just telling me and motivating me to do better and be better than them, I guess. Yeah. First, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and second, um, I was wondering how it feels when they do a little gimmicky with you. Because, you know, sometimes they lie you up with, like, pullback and stuff. Like, they play tight end in high school. Yes, sir. Like, you having fun doing that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah, it's very fun. I really wish I could play a little more. But uh, whatever they need me to do, it's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just have fun with it. What's it like knowing that uh, Nolan Smith is going to be coming back this year and going to be playing behind you again? Oh, it's, it's good because um, I actually my senior year, I watched Nolan. And I seen a lot he did his freshman year. And I was really happy to come here and play with him. So every, what he's doing now is just awesome. And I wish him the best and all that. Really conditioning and getting more rest. Cause I know a lot of rest is going to come my way because all the focus is all, a lot on me. So I've been just running a lot, like I said, so so I can get better and just have more reps. If I remember correctly, I think Jordan told us a few months ago that he was I don't really think there's that many, but it's a lot of strong guys on the team, but I don't really know exactly who's stronger than me. I don't know. Um, going back to the national championship, do you, you're the one who blocked the kick, right? Yes, sir. Um, how did you feel about that one? Because it's something that you break it down, like, what was going through your I don't know. It happened really fast. And um, when I blocked the kick, I just seen everybody running towards me, and I really didn't process it until James Cook got the run. 
And I was like, wow, I knew it was going to be a big spotlight. I would say, again, conditioning, because that's the main topic with Kirby. He wants me to be the most conditioned on the team, the most conditioned in college, so I could uh, play multiple reps and help the team get better. Now, two more questions from Jalen. You came in with this year's stack out some more than Prince, correct? Yes, sir. How have you seen them progress uh, kind of alongside you over the last two years? Uh, they progressed a lot. Uh, Warren Brinson, I uh, played with him in the All-American game, so seeing him in the All-American game and wait. What he's doing now, he's progressed a lot. And um, with Nigel Stackhouse, he's actually my roommate. So we have little talks and talk about football, talk about life. And seeing him from freshman year to what he's doing now and what he did today at practice, he's doing a lot. He's doing very good. John, what's your expectation for this front seven that's going to be later later this month in the NFL draft that, that just left this defense? What else is, is around you? What have you seen this spring in practice? What have I seen this spring? Uh, you know, if we keep the main thing, the main thing, stop the run, and that's what we've been working on. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Jalen, we really appreciate you coming in here. Um, Zion Lowe got it. Looks like he's going to be into your future. Your Batman mode. Uh, you guys have been talking a lot about him. How's he emerged? He's been a lot. You know, he, uh, he's been a great player. Um, he's been playing well. 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 He's been playing and we just talk about football and talk about how we both can get better and get a connection where it's like J.D. and Vontae and Trayvon never left. All right, Jamie. Thank you. Yes, sir.